there's the ayah that's often quoted um, and that's that's the ayah that seems to cause some um, problems or like some disagreements um, between feminists and the interpretation of this how would you define it and or what is the definition I wouldn't say how would you define it and um, why do you think that is you know the disagreements or like people not willing to accept the um, scholarly interpretation of it yeah so bismillah uh, there there is no you know there's no <laughs> difference there hasn't been a difference for a thousand plus years right it's just now that there's a difference with uh, these uh, demand supply uh, sorry uh, people in our community who sadly it is what it is you know this is the reality so um, the ulama, like you look at the mufassirin, you look at the, the Prophet sallallahu you know, everything needs to, see, I, I don't have an opinion. I can't give my opinion. Mm. Like, why would I give my opinion? I, I'm going to give you the opinion of the ulama and the opinion of the sahaba. Okay. So, and if you don't think I'm saying something, go and check. I need you to check. I, it's important for people to get off TikTok and Instagram and open some books, do some research, right? Problem is we're living in this society of TikTok. You see a TikTok for 20 seconds. Oh, you know, Kawan means this, Chef Fulan, you know, Alama, you know, whatever, a milkshake saying this and that, you know, it's like, it's not like that. You can, you cannot overlook and cannot disregard the ulama that came, whose deeds are sealed. Okay. Their deeds are sealed. Yeah. Whose books are sealed, who you cannot disregard the opinion of Sahaba that Allah says Allah doesn't say about us Allah says about the Sahaba so I want people to go back and, and check I, I, and I don't want to say just okay a, a, a contemporary chef has said this I want people to go back and check open the books do some research okay the Qawwam the Imam the Khalifa the leader of the Muslims have always been men, okay? They've always been the one who spearhead this movement, this da'wah, from the beginning till the end, okay? So Qawwam is not only authority, and it is authority first and foremost, but it comes with responsibility and accountability, right? And that's why it's something so heavy on the men, and that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته طاشيا متصديا لخشة الله Like if the mountain is going to crumble and we are carrying this on the back, right? And he is, imagine how heavy this responsibility is, right? When we look in the hadith of the كلكم رأي وكلكم مسؤول ونضعيتي You are a shepherd. And then there's a hierarchy. There's a patriarchy in Islam. People are talking about, it's not the patriarchy of the West. It's, you know, but it's Allah first. Allah, al Rasul, and then the leaders of the Ummah, and then the men. Okay, the men. This is how it is. There is a, you want to call it patriarchy? Well, it is a patriarchy. You want to call it a hierarchy? It is a hierarchy. But bottom line is men are there. They are responsible. They are accountable. Now, Maybe we're not doing so well. I mean, that's what I'm saying myself, right? We're probably not doing that well these days. That's why we're trying to do these things and we're trying. I'm not saying I'm the man here. I'm like, yeah, I got to figure it all out. I'm calling people. It's like, let's do it. Let's develop ourselves. Let's reclaim this position. That's my, the point of my course. I'm not saying, listen, man, I got it all right. I'm number one. You know, just follow me. No, no, no. Not like that. It's like, there's a problem. I'm trying to solve this problem. How about you join me and help me solve this problem? And we all work. And we're going to make mistakes. There's going to be issues, but let's keep developing. Right? This is what I'm talking about. So the Qawwam, forget about the feminists. Forget about the liberals. They're totally, totally wrong. All you have to do is go to the Mufassirin, go to the Sahaba, the opinions of Sahaba, and see who were leading the Ummah. Yes, women were there. They're supporting. Hey, we're, alhamdulillah, we're very grateful. And, you know, as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they are, has given him their right. He said, and you know, uh, Rajul, he is, uh, he is, the man is responsible for his flock and his people 
And then the woman is responsible for in the man's house. Look what the, the hadith says. People need to read. He says, she is responsible for his household. She is responsible not to allow anyone to enter his house, to protect his wealth, his children. Not responsible for CEO of some company or to do like this or that or whatnot. So there is a hierarchy, right? And because we moved away from that traditional understanding of what is a kawam, what the Sahabas believe, what the Prophet Sallallahu showed, this is where we're, we're, we're messed up. We have so many problems today. And now everyone's got an opinion and everyone's arguing. No, women can be leaders. And no, with all due respect, they cannot. It's not that we don't, you know, we want them to be bad or we think. It's, they're just not, Allah didn't make them for that position. Can, can some women become or this thing? They might, but they're not made for that okay men are made for niche position are we good right now no we got to work at it because we kind of messed up okay but we have the capacity we are made for that people need to understand that doesn't mean you're talking bad about women or you're putting women down or you're misogynist or anything like that it's not like that women are valued for their value for who they are and because they're moving away from that position they're not functioning properly. They're confused. Right? We're living in a confused society, including the Muslim Ummah, including our Muslim brothers and sisters are confused today. And where are they getting confused from? From these social media platforms. That someone's going to come and take an opinion from here and appear there. Contextualize things. Go back to the Sahaba. Oh, the, uh, Omar, he put this woman to be in charge in the market oh, or something like that. Don't compare that to Khilafah and leadership. Yeah, Akhi. Okay. Okay. You want me to put you in charge of the market? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, tamam. You know, but still there are, there's Farda and there's Sunnah. There's still priorities, but don't confuse the things. We need to be very, very clear as to who is where. That's Hikmah. You have to put the right thing in the right place at the right time. And now we're not doing that. We have been switching things. Men are becoming women. They are nurturing children. They're staying at home. They're enjoying that. And women are out there in the workforce having to deal with their menstrual cycle. You know, again, people don't understand. You need to talk to women who are honest about this issue. And alhamdulillah, by the blessings of Allah, we have so many women who are waking up and realizing now, and they are talking to women. And sadly, 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 the many of them are not Muslim. Sadly, and the Muslim women are still a little bit behind, but they're catching up. Alhamdulillah, they're catching up. And a lot of them are saying, Hey, you know what? We kind of got, we kind of got, we got fooled by the system. And now we're realizing that we're not really functioning well within the system. And we should be in our own position. And again, I want to reiterate, there's no misogyny. This is not putting women down, call it whatever you want. Don't call it misogyny, call it misogyny. It doesn't matter. These are just labels. These are just slogans because you have no better way to refute or to, 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 uh, respond. But the reality is that people are waking up. The reality is that our society is suffering because people are not in the right position. It's like asking a goalie to play forward. Can he play forward? He can run around there and try to kick the ball. In the end, he's not going to be the most effective. He's not going to be the most. Have we seen goalies scoring goals here and there, but he's not going to be the most effective because he's just what? He's going to leave his, his net open. So sisters, we're not trying to put you down. We're trying to tell you you have value, but your value you've put in the wrong place. You've put your value in the wrong place. You've been fooled. And you try to compete to, with us for Kawama. And we are trying to figure ourselves out right now and trying to work hard to regain that position. And now you're trying to fight us over it. You know, so now we have double the work to do. If you were to support us and encourage us as opposed to fight against us, maybe inshallah we'll do better. But definitely responsibilities on us. I make no excuses. It's us first and foremost. Our blame as men. We need to reclaim that. We need to come back to that traditional understanding the Sahaba was Kawam, there's no difference of opinion. There's no difference of opinion that a man is always going to be and should be in leadership and should be obeyed. And he is the one leading the family, leading the Ummah, 
leading this DAO. 